I love using Kittle, which is a free website, and I've got a link in the video description below. You can click on it and get three free months of pro subscription. And in this video, I'm gonna highlight a certain type of text design. It's called text transformation. I'm gonna use this design as an example, I'm, and I'm gonna highlight three really cool text transformation tools that are really simple to use, and they're super powerful. Let's jump in. I'm going to start by clicking Use This Design, and that's gonna pull my design now that I'm gonna use here. Now what I love about Kittle is simply by clicking, I can move the different elements inside the design around. I can rotate them, I can make them larger. There's all sorts of easy plug and play interface here. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this design here. I could rotate it, I can change the scope of it, but I'm just gonna click the delete button because in this video, I'm just gonna be focusing on text. And over on the right-hand side, there's different text colors you can use. There's different text settings and different text transformations. I'm actually gonna click on this other tab at the top, which is the text transformation tool. And there's a whole bunch of different things inside here. Now I do wanna point out, this is a beta release for Kittle. And one of the things you may notice if you're clicking on this text transformations tab is that after 10 seconds, it tends to go back to the main tab. It's kind of a strange feature. So if you're flipping back and forth between the two, you may find that it defaults back. Now here's the shading button. This is the first one I wanna show you. And it's the block shadow. So here with this Bohemia, that's what I've got selected. I'm gonna click the text effects tool. The third one in is the block shadow. And then I'm going to actually start now moving around the angle on this. So the block shadow, I'm gonna make this color black. And then I'm gonna close that out. And then this is really cool. The offset makes it go way longer. Check that out. So now I've got a huge block shadow in the background. If you wanna change the color of the block shadow, you just simply select the color and you can change it as well. I just love this feature because making a really long block shadow in Photoshop can be tedious and time consuming. And this is just really easy. The second text transformation tool that's really easy to use, I'm actually just gonna use this main Bohemia again, but in this case, when I click on it, I'm not actually gonna click on the second tab, I'm just gonna leave it on the first tab. And the first tab, right at the bottom, there's these transformation presets. And I'm just gonna click the circular button, and we can see now there's a big circle that gets drawn, and Bohemia is running right in the middle of that circle, which I absolutely love. You can also rotate this as well if you wanted to make it anywhere inside the circle so you could actually tweak it as well. You can also hold down the shift key and you can see now it's moving in 15 degree increments so you can make it exactly zero degrees. This is really handy if you're kind of like looking and you go, ah, I'm not quite sure if that looks good. Whoops, I wanna make it go right back to flat. You just hold down the shift key and now it moves to zero or you can push it right to 90 and it goes in chunks. I really like that feature. The third text feature that I'm gonna be using is more subtle at times, but I really like this effect, and I think this is why Kittle is a real game changer, because it makes it really look professional. So here I've clicked the Bohemia text again, and the little window pops up up here on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna be going here on the left tab, the text settings tab, to border weight. And I'm gonna click this now and select a color that's not this color of the text. So I'm gonna click red, for example. Inside this border weight, I can change the weight and you can see now it's changing. It's like a stroke around the actual text. It's absolutely fantastic because you can make it super tiny or super pronounced. And if you make it really pronounced, it'll change the entire color of the text. But this is a really nice feature, having stroke around the text and you can really take your design to the next level because it's so accurate. Most graphic designs don't have the same level of specificity inside of it. I think this is why it really pushes Kittle to the top as far as really, really beautiful designs for designers. I really hope you found this video helpful. I absolutely love Kittle. I love using it. It's not only easy to use, but it's really, really fun as well. I just find myself just monkeying around with all sorts of great fonts, great designs, and there's just so much to do on here. So again, I've got the link in the video description below. Make sure to check out both of my channels. I've got Zen Water Cooler and Crafty Stacks, and I love Kittle. I've got another video right here on how you can supercharge your graphic design journey using Kittle.